So I said, well, I didn't just wake up. I woke up like around was after eight. I was like, a, I go, at five o'clock, I was doing my upstairs, doing my exercises and you know, my morning stuff like that. But right now, then I come back and I take a little tiny, tiny, tiny nap, right? It's not really a nap. It's like a, it's more like meditation, a lying meditation. When I say lying, I'm not lying. Well, maybe I'm lying because I'm laying down, chilling. I know you're not supposed to be thinking about thinking. Then I try to drift off and not thinking. Don't worry about it. It's a routine. But, you know, this, lately there's this thing. I think there was some military guy talking about the most important thing. Get up in the morning and you make your bed, you know. And then I was watching the sports guy who said, um, the, the brother, the brother and another brother, two Michaels, you know, anyway. They, the other guy said, yes, Gordon, maybe I make my children make the bed and blah, 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 blah. And I'm going like, yeah, really? Hmm. Well, right now, you know, that's when I travel. Because I crash places like right now, I'm crashing. I don't know, my man uh, purposely put this light on back, making me like a halo. See, it looked like a halo, like an angel. This is a message from the above. Uh, anyway, so what I do is my bedding, and wherever I'm crashing, like if I'm uh, here, I'm at my uh, well, this is different. Uh, at the I'm in the, I'm in the basement, you know, like the man that lived underground, a la Richard Wright. Anyway, uh, so you know what I do? I take the bedding and I you know I fold up the bedding. I fold up the bedding, you know, shake it out. Sometimes, you know, I'll air it when I'm sometimes I'll air it out, you know, like like when I travel, like I went to this place one time, this village. I was in uh, where was I? I was going from northern Thailand, I was going through Laos, right? And you go from northern Thailand, I was about Chiang Mai, but you know, I was at Pi. Anyway, then you, you you take the you know, you go and take the boat across to a Anyway, you take a, a launch down the Mekong River, right? And and, and going down to um, uh, Long Pavon, you know, the, the city, the, the big city up in the northern part of Laos. Um, and, uh, and, you know, you take, a, you take a launch or you take a you take a boat, slow boat, down the Mekong River. And you get to this, uh, you get to this, uh, this village. And, you know, they do, it every, they do it every day, you know. So, like, about four o'clock, you know, you know, you get... Your boat gets into the village, and you know the tourists, just, rather the guys, the people descend upon you. You know, trying to sell you all kinds of stuff. You're a tourist, you know. But let me tell you something. If you are a lot of a lot of African Americans, they be saying like, "Oh, I'm 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 uh, what? I'm um I don't know. They're another they're I don't know another country. They're Pan African or, or whatever it is, you know. But when you're traveling, you got to travel. Well, if you travel on American passport, American passport. But if you're American. Believe me, they don't. They they don't look at you as no, uh, you know, revolutionary. No da da da. They look at you as a dollar sign. <laughs> so you money any two or if you're, if you're French, whatever you travel, you know, a German, you know, Australian, whatever it is. I guess now more African nations are traveling. They're looking at you as a currency. Let's put it that way. And they looking for dollars, you know, because you know dollars the rule of the world. Anyway, uh, uh, so they get to the town, and I I had this experience. You only there. If, from like four, you see, see, you get there at four o'clock, right? And then you, uh, then they live like like eight o'clock the next morning, something like that. Well, I can't tell you the whole thing, but I stayed at that place eleven days. Unusual. Let me show you how it is. Like the first day, you know, the hustle you blah, blah, blah. The second day, yes, I'm still there. They're looking, what the heck? What's this boy doing? Yep. And they still a little hustle. By the third day, they say. Hey, we this this is not like the kind of tourists. It's like like that kind of America. Maybe them plus like you know very few black people do this kind of thing. This is back in the, back in two thousand three, I think. Yeah, uh, they were saying, hey, we gonna get a lot of black Americans coming here. Maybe that's where they are. Maybe they ain't got no money, which we don't. Well, at least they ain't giving it to us, right? And so, and so I just for eleven days, I didn't spend no money there. I was for one guest house, and um, they take they sell this thing called. A uh, beer Lao, right? And it's, it's an excellent pills, an excellent beer. This beer is so good that next door in Thailand, at least that when I was there, they wouldn't let it into Thailand. They, in fact, they had a, a, in Thailand, they had a knockoff beer called Beer Leo. Anyway, uh, so, uh, and this, what I do is I also have a, sh on my bottom sheet, on my bottom sheet, I lay on, I use a towel. I lay on the towel. Well, mainly because I sweat, you know, I'm a sweater. I'm a sweater, sweater, sweater. And so uh, I, got, I got high high metabolism like that. And uh, I go, oh, I got my, oops, sorry. It's my, uh, my wife made this. It's like a, it's 
my nightcap. Put a night thing on my head because ah, I ain't gonna explain that to you. Anyway, so then when they when the people leave, you know when they when they leave at eight o'clock in the morning, they all of a sudden the village becomes in the village. So from like eight until like four in the afternoon, they all kinds of the village thing. They 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 a whole different mentality. They hang out the bedding, you know, for the rest of the day. Da 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 da. Um, and they. When I was there, they they slaughtered a cow right in the middle of the street and giving the stuff to all the all the villages and stuff like that. It was fascinating. In fact, that's the same place. I would take I would take a walk. I was walk in one direction, and every day I walk another direction, right? And that's where, okay, they have these temples, you know, where the monks are, right? This thing is so isolated, right? Those monks, they were doing the, you know, the. I I'm not okay. This was a long time ago, you know. I don't know. They probably I don't know what it is. Okay. Cause you know them, them monks, they, especially the Thailand monks, they got busted one time. As a monk, he's supposed to live low to the ground, the experience, but whatever. And then one time, a lot of these sheep monks, you know, they were like traveling planes, they were wearing their, their watches and stuff like. They got busted for that, you know. But that's a long time ago. Let me go back. And one time I went in one direction, and I found just just like it's like a a, a, res, a hotel. It was like a hotel. Cause nobody was there. But I think I know it was the same. I think it was the same hotel that. Apocalypse Now, the film, right? There's a missing scene where they put it back, right? Uh, where these guys are going up the river and they come to this, uh, whatever, this, this hotel. There's this old, old couple, old, old people, you know what I mean? From days gone by. And it's like a really eerie kind of interesting scene. I think it was filmed at that hotel. I'm not sure, but it sounds like it. Anyway, so, so that's what happens. You know, you, um, well, that's what I do in the morning. But the reason why I do what I do is because let me explain this to you. When they say, oh, make your bed. So basically what I'm saying when I travel, I do. I, I make my bedding and I fold it up and da 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 When I'm at my sister's house, when I do, uh, actually when JB's, with the, the bed I'm there, then what I do is on my bed, it's a, usually a queen-size bed. I always sleep on one side of, of the bed. The other side, everything is screwed up. The books I'm reading some uh, clothes, whatever. It's on the other side of the bed. Then when I get out, I just make that. Well, I knead up the other that that side of the bed. Um, I know I'm quite sure my sister and JB they're gonna like. When I'm at, when I went at my, my my brother's house in in uh, in New York, my 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 fraternity brother's house in New York. You know, uh, I usually I'm laying on the. Uh, I sleep on the floor, like I can't explain to you, on the floor, but also I sleep on the couch. I'm, I'm back and forth, right? But uh, I have a pile. I put junk on the pile. Same same thing like too, right? Um, and, but what it is, is that, see, I grew up in a very disciplined household. Let's put my grandmother's very disciplined, you know, by the way, I am my grandmother's grandson. And what happened then is, yeah, we had to make our beds. It's no problem. No problem. No problem. Um, uh, when I got in the military and we really had to make the beds. you know, the whole quarter bouncing on the thing and all that stuff. Like that. So when I got to the military, the first thing I did, I never made my bed. Yeah. I throw screen. I'm, Never, never, ever, mm, mm, mm. to this day, I got that in my <laughs> head. I ain't make no bed. In fact, it's like this. I think, here's what, here's, here's what happens. I think what happens is you have to have a balance. If you're always that, I don't want to say anal, but that discipline, that's great. But, 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 but the more disciplined you are, the more likely to balance out, you have to do something very undisciplined. You understand? So for me, this whole making it better and more, I understand what they're saying. It's, it's my undisciplined because most of the other times in the days I have rituals and I have, I'm very, very, I don't say rigid, but very disciplined because I grew up that way. I am just them that way. Anyway, so that's it. Oh, and when I'm, and when I'm in, um, uh, when I'm, when I'm in, uh, in South Africa, when I'm in South Africa, um, uh, my, my wife wants to make the bed. I'll help her make up the bed, but I will not initiate <laughs> Will not initiate. So that's what it is. I just want to talk about bed making. I don't know why, because that's what it is. I got to take my morning, you know, my, my little vitamins and tabbies and all the rest of stuff. So check y'all later.